Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in and being here today. This week we'll focus on painting a lightning scene and thank you to my patrons who helped me vote on the topic. We're gonna go straight to it and go over the materials needed for today. For brushes, I like to use these blending brushes. Right here, two of them, preferably. We need a couple of these artist lab brushes. This one's a number eight and this is number four. and a detail brush. Any type of detail brush you have available will do. And that's it for brushes. For paints, we need titanium white, and I am using acrylics, cadmium medium yellow, naphtho medium red, and ultramarine blue, and carbon black. We need a 16 by 20 inch canvas or whatever canvas you have available, jar of water, some paper towels, we need a palette and a palette knife to mix your paint and I am using a palette paper once I'm done I just bunch it up and throw it away instead of you know scrubbing it off and cleaning my palette so it saves time and if you have this a blow dryer to dry your first coats and that'll be all for the materials, very simple today. You can find all these materials, what I'm using, there's links to them in the description down below if you're interested. So the plan is to paint a very dramatic cloudy sky and it's gonna be kind of dark with some lightning strikes here and then we're gonna have a lavender field here. And so that's the plan. Let's see what happens and as always, let's have fun. Let's pick up our palette and then titanium white we're going to create four different colors for now and I'm going to squeeze out some white here about the same amount maybe a little more here so maybe about two thumbs here and then each time you add a little bit less white let's start with four for now now let's pick up our yellow and add a little bit here and a little bit here, like this. And then now the red, we're going to add a little bit here, very small amount, and a little bit here, like this. And then now the blue, we're gonna squeeze some in here and then add another blue area here and then I think we'll add one more red in here with the blue like this next the black we'll add it with this blue very small amount like this okay that'll be our darkest and I'm gonna add some red in here and a little bit of white Okay, so I added a little bit of white and red right there, as you can see, and also just plain white right here. So these are the colors we have. Let's pick up our palette knife and then mix our lightest color here first. Blend everything in. That's good enough right there. Moving on. And don't focus too much on trying to, you know, copy exactly the colors I have here um, because this is gonna be a stormy scene and you can actually add and have fun with your colors can totally change them up the way you want them to be, okay? So, um, create your stormy scene, the colors you want them to look. But if you do have, you know, these colors, what the colors I'm mixing here, and if they're a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, that is always okay. 
Okay, next. Right. And then next. Okay, and then our final color will be very dark. Okay, so we have white and it's going all the way to the dark right here. Now let's pick up our water jar and one of our blending brushes, dab it in the water all the way or halfway and then squeeze it gently. Like I, I squeeze it enough, you know, to um, have not too much water on my brush. So it could be a little damp. And let's start with the lightest colors. Let's just start with this um, yellow here. And we're randomly gonna put it right about right in here. This is gonna be, you can see I have water in my brush. That's good. It'll dry out slower. So I'm quickly adding that yellow right in here, taking all of it, and then let's move on to this orange color. Add it right on top, like this, really quickly, and then maybe take it all the way right here. And then this red, We'll go here, quickly put it in here. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water, just the tip of it, and add some red right in here. Okay, dab my brush again, use this red, add it right here, or this pink. And now let's add, let's skip this blue for now. Let's add the red, maybe some in here. And then like this. And then let's go on straight to this darker blue and add it right in here. So I'm gonna dab my brush in the water again, pick up more paint, randomly add it. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water again. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the darker one. So actually this lighter blue. Lighter blue right in here. Maybe a little bit in here. And then the dark one. Dab my brush in the water and use this dark one doesn't have to be perfect. This is a stormy scene. This is our base coat. So don't worry about trying to, you know, and it's okay if you cover this pink, that's totally fine. Okay, that's good right there. I might add a little bit in here. We're gonna add the details in a little bit, but for now we have a quick, you know, base coat down. Now I'm gonna pick up my brush. And this process you wanna work a little bit faster so it won't dry out so quickly and my dry second blending brush, I'm gonna swirl it gently, start from the lighter area and blend everything in nicely. Swirl and pull the paint lightly upwards. So I'm like dabbing it and swirling it and it blends in very nicely. And do this fast. And it's okay if, you know, some areas are not blended too well because again this is a stormy scene so the, there might be some sharp clouds which we're gonna add you know details to 
and we just want a quick blend right now quick quick blend and then we'll add like I'm gonna leave some of this rough um, areas here and quickly blend it all in focus too much on this part this is our base we want a rough blend there you go all right right there we have a nice base coat of the sky we're gonna add details to it but I'm gonna quickly clean out my brushes so they won't sit in here if you'd like to learn how I clean my brushes, I show step-by-step -step right here. There's a link here, um, how I take care of my blending brushes. But let's move on. Now it's a little bit, you could see it's really rough. I usually make a smoother blend, but I worked really fast because we're gonna add details to our clouds. And so we just wanted a base coat and that's what we have here. So it's still a little wet, so I'm gonna quickly dry it out with the hairball dryer and then we'll continue. All right, now that it's dry, I'm gonna pick up, I have some paint left over, so I'm gonna quickly, you know, put them together in one pile so they won't dry so quickly. Maybe actually mix this, mix this in with this blue, it's totally fine. Whatever color you have left, but if you ran out of this color, that's fine. You can uh, leave it as it is and use just a dark one, whatever you have left. And um, I'm gonna bunch this up. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can save this. And maybe some of this, maybe mix it in. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want this paint to go to waste. And I used all my yellow blue, or uh, yellow color here but I do have white here. So let's um, play around with these colors. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna pick up my uh, number eight brush here, dab it in the water all the way and then squeeze it so it could be nice and damp, okay? And we're gonna start off with, let's use maybe this pink, this color right here. Mix it in and you could see since my brush is damp, it's, uh, it's mixing, in with, mixing with water. And we're gonna add some clouds far away. And very quickly. Okay, very fast and light. Maybe if you have yellow left a little, so it could be a smoother blend. That's a little too much, so I'm gonna use more yellow. So it'll be very, you know, play around. That's what I do, is I play around with the lights and darks and whatever color gives me, um, that's what I go with. Um, so I just want a smooth light transition into going into the darker colors. So I'm gonna quickly Add that right in here. Okay, maybe bring it down a bit. Use my yellow again. We're gonna make it very cloudy today. Okay, blend that in with the yellow. That's good right there. Maybe also blend this in. 
a little bit. Okay, moving on. My brush is still damp. I'm going to use part of this, connect it here. And you could see I'm working very light. So if you ran out of, the, ran out of yellow, usually you don't need that much. So um, that's why when you have a damp brush, it works, it picks up the paint pretty nicely. Um, but if you ran out, it's just white and a little bit of yellow. And you can work transparent. So I'm gonna bring that in. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water very lightly. I don't want too much water. And I'm gonna continue here. Okay, maybe pick up this color now. And dab my brush in the water lightly. And I'm going to continue. We'll add this pink. randomly and yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine okay all right that's good continue playing with the colors and you don't need to speed through this uh, part you could take your time I just um, I like to work like this um, maybe if you know my apologies if it looks a little too fast um, but you can take your time. This is not something you can, you know, you if you want, you know, don't want to speed through. Um, there's no rush, is what I'm trying to say. So dab my brush in the water. Pick up more color. Blend in some of this area. Okay, that's good. I think I'm gonna make this a little darker here. All right, now we're gonna add darker tones. And next, what we're gonna do once you're done with this area, we're going to continue working up and let's immediately go to this dark color right here. Go to this and I dab my brush in the water. You can see it's a little damp. I'm going to clean it on the paper towel. I don't want too much water. I just want it to be lightly, you know, damp. So. If you feel like you have too much water and, and the way you know is when you put the paint and if it's too you know bubbly and wet that means you should dry out your brush onto the paper towel it should work smoothly so from here i'm going to add my darker colors And I'm randomly following along um, my patterns, my clouds, whatever I think would look cool. So I'm going to leave some of the pink because I like that pink, but I'm going to blend out the rest. And if you want to, you know, you can always mix it in with this pink here to blend it out if you want, you know, a little more better. Okay, 
that's good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more in here lightly. Pretend they're far away, darker clouds up in here. And that's good. That'll be good right there. Let's continue adding this dark color. And I'm going to add it right in here. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water again, lightly. And of course, you can use the red and go underneath here, darken some of this areas here. If you'd like. Okay, moving on. Play around with these colors. I'm gonna dab some in here. I don't wanna cover a lot, but that's good right there. I wanna make some of them look rough. Like that. And then make this dark here. I'm going to dab my brush in the water again. I'm going to connect these two. Like this. And blend the tops. Okay, dab my brush in the water very lightly. And I'm pressing a little bit harder to, you know, not that hard, but you know, I'm blend blending in the colors. And make it look rough. I wanted to make it look rough. You can blend it, make it smoother if you'd like, but I'm going to make this one look a little rough and intense. So I'm going to add some in here. Very rough. You could see the colors are intense. We want that. Our lightning's going to be coming from here these clouds. So I want this area to stand out. Dab my brush in the water, continue. That's good. Right there. Blend that all in. And 
there is no right or wrong where you add your shadows and clouds. So here, well, I'm going to first finish up here with the darks. Dry out my brush and blend everything in here. Maybe even use Actually, I'm going to use this blue one instead. Mix it in here. Okay, moving on. You can see I'm randomly adding the clouds. Maybe some in here, some rough ones. Not gonna blend it in too much. Maybe some in here as well. Okay. Continue. Let's add some in here. Maybe a little more darker and red in here. to use a little bit of this blue, light blue, mix it in with this color. You can see it's still dark. We want that. Dab my brush in water. Mix it in, play around with these colors. Like I said, um, I'm doing this so you guys can learn how to mix your, you know, colors here and create your own shades. So I'm playing a little bit with uh, my damp brush and then star color and this blue. And I'm creating lighter clouds, darker clouds playing with it and having fun. So now I'm gonna go use this lighter color right in here. And this is where I'm gonna start adding the, a little more blue, let's, let's add a little more blue. I'm gonna start adding the white. So I'm gonna clean out my brush in the water and we're gonna use the same brush and remember this white, we're gonna start adding some white, maybe mix it in with the blue. Now we're gonna do the same thing how we did with the dark messing around with the blue and the light, you know, the lighter colors here, we're gonna do that with the white and add some clouds. 
make him look rough. Make this area a little bit lighter. Play around with the blue. Now let's add more of the white in here and make it look intense. Mix it in with the blue, and let's add some in here. Make this area stand out a little bit. Okay. Maybe a little bit in here, like that, with the blue. Okay, we've got a quick, you know, sketch here. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water, clean it out, and it's a little damp and wet, and I'm gonna go over everything with a little bit of white and, you know, smooth the areas around quickly. And sometimes actually this helps as well. I, I use this or one of your blending brushes. So I have mine, it's still a little damp, but I use the paper towel to swirl it and dry it out. And I'm going to, you know, blend in everything nicely like this. And then continue blending with white. Really quick. You could see, I just want to get the areas where the light colors are. 
so it'll be a little bit smoother. And don't be afraid to do this because, and I used a little bit of white. I'm gonna quickly blend all that in. There you go, that's good. And now I'm gonna use this blue and this dark again and play around, continue going from lights to darks. And I wanna make some of these a little bit more sharper, okay? A little bit more sharper. Mix it in. Make this area a little darker if you'd like. This is where you can play around back and forth doing the same thing. until you're really happy with your piece, your background. And sometimes like when you focus on one thing too long, it starts to, you know, you, you can really get carried away. And so it's better to quickly sketch it out like this. And then once you have your, everything quickly sketched out, you can come back and detail everything else. this darker here And go back to the white and add a little more lighter colors here. We really want to make this area stand out, right?
Now let's switch to number four. Do the same thing, dab it in the water. And I'm gonna use this white and add the white right underneath here. I wanna make this bright because that's where the lightning will be. and fade it out. I clean my brush into the paper towel and blend those in. happening that's what we want so continue and maybe add some underneath some of these areas right here fade it out it wherever you want them but don't overdo it blend in this area here a little bit better Dab my brush in the water, use this blue. Again, I'm messing around, correcting things as I go. And then add some white, clean white with water, alongside here. So I'm gonna make sure my brush is super clean, it doesn't have the dark. And clean white with water. We're gonna add some quickly in here. Doesn't have to be perfect that and then I'm going to fade it out in here
there you go very fast we added the white mainly on the bottom here maybe a little more red in here it doesn't have to be perfect like I said quickly put that in mainly in the middle and then fade it out like that there you go Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I'll detail the sky later at the end once I'm done with the whole painting. That way I can step back and take a look if I need to add anything and smooth anything out. Um, but we have a rough sketch here and then, um, and then let's add the field here so that we can see how it'll all look uh, together. So what I've got here is um, some ultramarine blue and a little bit of white. And then I've got a little bit of ultramarine blue, more red and white and then just black and blue. Let's mix this real quick. I'm going to probably add more white, obviously, but I just wanna see what color it, this will give me. Um, this will be for our lavender, okay. So we have that here. Now let's mix this in real fast. Our blue and then our final color you can take some of this dark color mix it in here let me take part of this I don't want it to be too dark but this will be like the shadows for our shadows okay right there and so now I'm gonna make one more shade I'm going to clean my palette knife so I won't carry the darks really quick doesn't have to be fully clean. And I have white and red here. I'm gonna take part of this color and mix it in here. I wanna see, so the white is very strong as you could see. I'm gonna leave that, but I think I'm gonna make one more color. So I'm gonna leave that for the highlights and I'm gonna add a little more red here. So just the red right there. Maybe take part of this, mix it in. Okay, maybe take part of the blue here, mix it in. We wanna make it look like a transition, almost didn't do much to, almost look similar. I'm gonna put blue in here, maybe that'll change it. Oh, that's much better, right there. Okay, that's good. Okay, we got our lavender colors and we can always come back and, you know, mess around detail um, that later, but let's continue and add the base. So I usually quickly mix the colors, put them in, you know, I'm always guessing kind of what will look good. And then I come back and mix my own colors again and see if I can overlay it and detail it. And the more you add, the more the painting will start to come to life. So let's quickly add the background, the field. Let's uh, start with, let's start with this color right here. Okay. And I'm gonna eyeball it and the field will be probably right in here. So I'm gonna draw it out like that, as straight as you can. And then you can add trees far away, trees there. You know, make it look a little bit more like there's those far away trees maybe make some of them taller if you'd like
so um, I'm going to have go like this, I believe. Quickly sketching it out. All right, now Now I'm going to add the darks, so this darkest color here. Let's add it right in here. With water. See, I'm quickly sketching my field out. And I'll fade it out right there. It's good. This is the base. So don't worry about adding the details yet. Okay, that's good. Now let's add this. Um, color right here, this lavender, add it on top. it in with this blue that we have mixed dab my brush in the water and play around with this blue color and then quickly draw our field And now, you know, you can add the lighter colors if you'd like. Cover the white canvas. Dab my brush in the water. Pick up whatever color you have. Quickly cover everything, sketch it out. And now with the blending brush, I'm going to blend everything in while the paint is still wet. I'm gonna dab my brush lightly in the water, my blending brush, so it can run smoothly. And I'm gonna blend everything in, roughly. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. You could see, we just wanted to cover our base. I almost should've just done that. 
Sometimes that happens, that's okay. All right, there you go. Now I'm gonna quickly dry this out. Okay, now our base coat is dry. Let's pick up the black and continue with our number eight brush. And I'm gonna add some dark trees far away. Add the details. Okay, and now let's continue with this dark color and now add a little more details. So, remember we quickly sketched this out. I'm gonna roughly add a little more shadows here. I have my brush in the water. I'm adding the shadows as you can see.
Okay, got a rough sketch. All right, I'm going to clean my brush and and I added more red and white. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the white. Actually mix all that in. Gonna clean my number eight and get all the dark colors out of there and then add start with this lighter color right here first and I'm gonna add you know go around and dab it dab it all in You get further, you get smaller. No, we're just sketching it out first and then we'll add the details in later. fade it out like that.
going to switch to my number four to get the far away ones really quick. As you get closer, space him out a little more. good all right now I'm gonna clean my number eight and I'm gonna remember this red color and add a few of this red color on top here randomly dab it in Same idea, but we're not going to add as much. That's good. Now we're going to add a little bit of white. Maybe take part of this, mix it in. A lighter color is what I meant to say. So a lighter pink color. Using the same idea, I'm going to clean my brush, number eight, in the water. Dry it out with a paper towel. And use this color. And let's add a few... There's different ways to paint lavender, but um, I want to focus on the lightning, so I'm going to add a few details here on my lavender. But you can draw it the way you want to. Okay, continue on. Space him out as you get closer.
that's good right there do the same thing here and remember light is hitting the top of these so add mainly the lights on top and then fit it out as you go down moving on a little bit in here That's good right there. That's good. I'm going to add this blue, remember, and a little bit of water, and I'm going to add it in here lightly, work transparent. Not too much blue, okay? Very lightly. Very lightly. And add my brush in the water. Do the same thing, very small amount of blue and water, and work transparent. And now I added darker red here. I'm gonna use that and up close here, I wanna add a little more color and then fade it out. Very lightly, a little bit of red. and fade it out. Maybe blend it in a little bit. Look 
Let me blend that in like that. So there will be some color. And now this dark color again, remember, we're going to add a little bit more details here. Very quick. Okay, we'll be good with the uh, lavender here. We can always come back and detail it later, but let's add our lightning. So our detail brush, and I dab it in the water, and I added white and yellow. Let's start with white. So we're gonna swirl it to our detail brush like this, and I'm gonna add mine. First one I'll add will be probably up here. So I'm gonna you know, have it be wavy a little bit. Dab my brush in the water. And quickly sketch it out, maybe in here. Dab my brush in the water, pick up more white. Going to add one. Like that, dab it in the water. Maybe there's one right in here like this. And then this will continue. There is no right or wrong. You can add your lightning the way you want it to look, okay? And I'll add one right in here.
in here one more light one. Once you have your lightnings all drawn out, we're going to clean our detail brush and this yellow lightly with water. I'm going to dab my brush in water so it could be nice and smooth. And I'm go going to go around and add a little bit of yellow into my, around the, um, just around my lightning to make it glow. Yellow will make it nice and glowy. Use your finger to blend it all in. really quickly like this. And so I'm going to add, remember this red here, mix it in with the orange like this, and maybe a little bit of white. And right in here, I wanna add that orange glow. And then in here as well. Use your finger to blend everything in. Okay, and now I'm gonna clean my brush and add a little bit of the white and the yellow very quickly and add it. So dry out my brush and blend those in lightly.
you could add a little more red along right here. So it could be a glow from the light. Maybe add a little bit in here, like that. And then also I wanted to add that, a little bit of that glow with the yellow very transparent right underneath here. I want it to be a little bit darker here, have some color. And this is where you com can come back and detail your clouds because you now you have that sketch, you know, your sketch down and now you can come back and add your details to um, whatever you want to the sky, to the lightning, to the flowers. Um, you could totally play around and have fun with this and create it in your own way, in, in your own style. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments down below and be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Also, if you do recreate any of these tutorials, please check out my Patreon page. There is a Facebook group um, there's a description uh, link in the description where you can share your artworks recreations and um, we have this amazing art community there be sure to check that out stay tuned for more take care god bless